Hey, it's Benji Cole, son of Al Cole from CBS Radio, welcoming you to another edition of People of Distinction, the talk that gives an in-depth view of some of the most dynamic, intelligent, and successful people on the planet. Run to our website, peopleofdistinction.org, for more info, or you can email me directly at benji at alcoleenterprises.com. Here on the line with us today, we have Leo Pevsner. We'll be discussing his new book, The Fifth Record, Understanding the Last Jewish Exodus, available on Amazon and Barnes & Noble. But listen, if you want to get the full experience of everything that Leo has to offer, you have to go directly to his website, okay? And that's going to be thelastjewishexodus.com. There, not only will you be able to purchase the book, you'll be able to find more information on the book, but also more information on Leo himself. In addition to his personal website, you can also visit his Facebook page. That's going to be facebook.com slash Leo Pevsner slash author. So again, that's facebook.com slash Leo, L-E-O, Pevsner, P-E-V-S-N-E-R slash author. There you'll be able to find information on Leo, information on the book, as well as a link that you'll be able to take to purchase the book also. Listen. Leo was brought here to People of Distinction today by some of the best movers in the business. You are Link Publishing. If you have a book that you'd like moved, move it through You Are Link. You can find them at youarelinkpublishing.com. And listen, I am so excited to have Leo here on the line with us because the book we're going to be discussing today, The Fifth Record, Understanding the Last Jewish Exodus, is such a phenomenal book. We all know about the unfortunate history around the Jewish community pertaining to the Holocaust, but what makes this book so unique and so applicable is, of course, we're going to be focusing on that particular community, on the Jewish community. But what is so amazing about it is how relevant it is to what we're going through today. There's an old quote I remember I read for the first time, probably when I was in junior high. I think I might have been in the seventh grade. And it basically was along the lines. It said... Those who fail to recognize the past are doomed to repeat it or something akin to those words. But basically the the message there was you have to understand where we've come from. You have to understand your past. You have to understand history so that you can move on from that. You don't make the same mistakes. And what's amazing about this book is the stark resemblances that we are facing today here in the States. It seems like Almost every other day, there's a new particular group that's being, you know, targeted. And and I love the fact that we have Leo here on the line to discuss this book, because, again, we're going to be talking about his book. But keep in mind the resemblances of what we are currently going through, because I think that is truly how beneficial this book can be. And listen, Leo is going to be able to explain this book much, much better than I ever could. So let's go ahead and let's bring him here on the line. Leo, first and foremost, man, thank you so much for being a guest with us on People of Distinction. How are you today? Oh, uh, Benji, thank you. Thank you for having me today. I'm fine. I'm good. And uh, uh, let me tell you a few words about myself. Um uh, I'm originally from Russia, live in the United States for almost 25 years, mm-hmm. uh, so I'm uh, a, an immigrant. Uh, I hold a PhD in marine engineering, and my lifetime has been divided into two dissimilar parts, Soviet and American, that helped me compare cultures, characters, and ethics of these two so different societies. Mm-hmm. Um, I am married, have adult children, and four grandchildren. The book I present here, also it, it discusses one immigrant community, reveals a serious topic about the immigration in this country. Now let me uh, explain um, the title of this book. It is uh, Fifth Record, understanding the last Jewish exodus. Uh, The notorious fifth record in the Soviet passport was used to reveal the ethnical belonging. Number one record was the last name, second was first name, third middle name, fourth record was a date of birth, and fifth 
record was nationality. Note, it is not the citizenship, but ethnicity. Uh, that was a pure Soviet invention, to check if a citizen has a right or wrong ethnicity. And Jews suffered the most from this segregation. Mm -hmm. That was like a yellow star that Jews had to expose on their suits in Nazi Germany. Fifth record in the passport became symbol of Soviet anti-Semitism. Eventually, it caused Jewish escape from the country. Hundreds of thousands of them fled Russia, hoping for a better fortune. They found it far away from the country where they were born. Leo, this is so incredible because, you know, listen, as I stated when I first started, the stark contrast against, again, a particular community, an ethnic community that is being discriminated against. And, of course, here in the book, as you stated, we're talking about the Jewish community, but we know here in this country, I mean, it's been the Muslim community, it's been the Mexican community. I mean, this is something that just, it, it, there's stark resemblances there. So thank you so much for for going into this and, and really developing this book and bringing it to our table. Now, next question that I really want to go into is talk to me and talk to our listening audience about the inspiration and not only what inspired you to write this particular book itself, but really also what inspired you to become a writer, to become an author? Yeah. Yeah. That, that's interesting. Um, I was always interested in observation of cultural traits in different peoples, in learning national characters. Sometimes uh, ill feeling is a problem. The fact is, after 200 years together with Russians, most of the Jews left Russia and moved to Israel, America, Canada, other countries. And I asked myself, was Russia a mother or a stepmother for these people? Which country are they loyal to? What feelings do Russian Jews keep of their country of birth? Many questions, mm -hmm. but fewer answers. A straight discussion on these sensitive topics was the most inspirational part of uh, the writing. And the book aims to disclose important cultural and political aspects. First aspect is to reveal the reason of specifically Soviet anti-Semitism, why Jews were the unwanted people, why they had limited opportunities to enter universities in building their career, certain jobs, promotions, cultural expression. The answer may allow better understand the reasoning of the totalitarian and ultra-left political regimes. Secondly, understand the identity crisis of many immigrants in America, who they are now in this country, either they are Russians or they are Jewish or they are Americans. Any individual can answer differently. We should respect that choice. Mm -hmm. And third, describe reflections of a man who lived in two opposite worlds, Soviet and American and can compare the realities of both. Each world represents a certain model of civilization and politics. For instance, an ultra-left political regime versus political freedom, state-controlled e economics versus free enterprises, Russian showcase liberties versus American real liberties. I wanted that our great children know what we left in one world and found in another world. I also want all people know that only those who lived in the oppressive regime can really appreciate American principles and values. This is what inspired me. Wow. Again, here on the line with Leo Pevsner, discussing his book, The Fifth Record, Understanding the Last Jewish Exodus. Again, available on Amazon and Barnes & Noble, but make sure you also go directly to his personal website, thelastjewishexodus.com, or his Facebook page, 
facebook.com slash leo pevsner slash author there you'll be able to purchase the book gain more information on him as an author and also this title leo this is absolutely just awe-inspiring man i mean look we there's so much of the historical context that i think across the board we are familiar with but you're you're taking it so much deeper than that, right? And the follow-up question that I have, we know about what inspired you. We know a little bit about the book and about the title. Why do you feel that this couldn't this wasn't good enough for it to just be something that you found the information for yourself? I mean, again, you talked about how you were inspired yourself to go through and find out this information but why didn't it end there why did you feel the need to then put this into a book and put out for the public so the public can benefit from it as well see the 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 topic of this book is very relevant during during our mm, turbulent time in america Mm -hmm. where people are so divided by politics and i hope this book would help the people, especially young people, to take a fresh view at our country, to better understand its core values, to create rather than destroy, to compare with other countries, and think about what made this country so great. So, uh, yes, uh, America is a country of immigrants, and immigrant groups have different cultures and regions. But there is one standalone community apart from all others. This is a group of people who left former Soviet Union to become Americans. And I wrote this book to let people know about one more stratum in the American society, which love this country. So this book is about common fortune, culture, ethics, identity puzzle, and the character of a certain people, Russian-speaking Jews. There it is, Leo. Thank you so much. I mean, such a powerful book. Really, I mean, very, very well said, very well put. You know, and listen, this is something that we can all relate to. Again, as you stated, here in the country, there is a big divide. Um, and, and and listen, everybody has their own beliefs. Everybody can have their own politics in 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 terms of which they choose to follow, but to a certain extent, right? The amount of prejudice and the amount of segregation that you're discussing in this book is really, that is the, that, that's the point in which we don't want it to go again. And as we tie up the fifth record here, what are you wanting to say with this book? What is one message that our listening audience has to take from this interview? We live in a country where the justice is and should prevail all the time. And comparing with uh, other countries with oppressive regimes, this country has definitely much of uh, much of advantage. Mm-hmm. And I want uh, all people. I I want all people uh, to live in peace. Uh, even if it is a lot of disagreement, we have to show our respect to each other because we are citizens of the one country. This is my message to everyone. And in a beautiful message, it is Leo. Thank you so much for that. You know, as we, as we, so we tied up that book, Leo, thank you again so much for it. We do have a little bit of time left. And, you know, being an artist myself, and it's a different medium, of course, I, I'm a, an actor and a filmmaker here in Los Angeles, but I love to be able to have this platform to help other artists out and specifically other writers. Now, I know that, you know, this is your first book uh, that you've that you've written, or this is the book that we're, of course, talking about here. But any advice that you can give a new writer, someone just starting out, uh, any words of wisdom that you can impart to them, Leo? Um, yeah. <laughs> any advice? Uh, write only about the topic that comes from your heart. If um, you 
think about writing just for writing, it's no use. Mm -hmm. um, only one, what you uh, show what you went through and what comes from your heart. Um, and that's, that's what my advice. Absolutely. You know, and it's, it's great advice. Listen, guys, write about what you're passionate about, right? And really that, that can take so, that can be applied to so many things in life. No matter what it is that you're doing, you want to do something that you're passionate about. You got to always do something that you care about. Cause at the end of the day, that's when you're really going to get the most out of it and you're going to have the best experience and really you're going to have the best quality work as well. So thank you so much for that, Leo guys, one more time. Here on the line with Leo Pevsner, just finished discussing his book, The Fifth Record, Understanding the Last Jewish Exodus, again, available on Amazon and Barnes & Noble, but also on his personal website, thelastjewishexodus.com, as well as his Facebook page, facebook.com slash leopevsner slash author. Go there, pick up your copy of the book. You will not be disappointed. Well, listen, we're all spending a lot, of, lot more time at home lately, given this pandemic. Why not spend it educating ourselves and really doing something that we know will ultimately give us a better and more impactful outlook on life? Leo, thank you so much for bringing this book to our table. We truly appreciated thank it here you, at Benji. People of Distinction. Thank you so much, uh, Benji, for inviting me, and thank you for the interview. <laughs>